Action. Alright, so what is up guys? Today we're going to be doing a review of the Blueberry Nusa Yogurt. So this is one of the more expensive, um, more premium yogurts on the market. And we're going to be taking it apart, doing it a little bit of a, an unboxing, and uh, also trying it out and seeing if it's worth every single penny. Let's do this. So starting off, um, small package. Um, you can see the, uh, the blue here and, you know, for the blueberries, as well as the white yogurt at the top. Uh, 130 calories per pop and um, four ounce yogurt cup. So pretty tiny. And I'll start by taking this guy off. A little bit tough to take off, kind of nice. And um, Nusa always has a message on here. So I'm going to do us a favor of just cleaning that off. Mm. Oh yeah, this one's different than the last one. Mm. Mm. Great. Honestly, pretty tough to um, take that off. Flavorific. At the top, mostly white. Um, there's hints of um, purple, which I actually think is a downside. You want it to be as clean as possible. Additionally, um, if we want to take a closer look here, it looks like around four-fifths or three-fourths of the container is actually filled with the yogurt, so the rest of it is just airspace, which is another um, red flag. Um, let's actually dig into this. So I'm going to start by taking a little scoop off the top, um, trying it out, um, paying attention to the creaminess of the flavor and the smoothness of the, of, of the yogurt. And then after a few bites of that, I'm going to begin by trying out the blueberry if I can access it on the bottom. And then I'll mix the two and give you guys a full review of that. So let's start with just the top. Scooped a little off the top there. I think I got a little bit of blueberry. Not ideal. Okay, this looks like just yogurt. I'd say that's a little bit more like rounded and a little bit thicker than like typical yo play. Um, but I'm liking where this is going. I'm gonna try to access some of the blueberry down at the bottom. And hopefully they included some actual blueberry chunks. Fingers crossed. All right, so let's see. All right, perfect. So here we got a little bit of the blueberry. You can see there's still some yogurt on the edge, but I'm gonna to try to stick to just the blueberry. Good. It's a little bit sweet. But I think when we mix it with the yogurt, it'll come out really nice. Um, there's not too much texture, not as much as I was hoping. It's just kind of soft and cold. But now we're gonna perform the full mix. And I know that uh, some of you guys like to like to eat it without mixing it, um, which I completely respect. Um, but I personally like to mix it all together to get the right blend of, of texture and the right blend of, of sweetness as well, which is super important for any good yogurt. Mm. Solid. It's not as rich as I would have hoped for the price. It's creamy, smooth. Definitely has a more premium feel than Yoplait, play, which I know is something that a lot of you guys care about. I gotta say, I've been eating this for maybe 30 seconds, and I'm already done. There's not a lot of yogurt in here. It's kind of disappointing. Overall, I'd give this yogurt a, in terms of texture, I'd give it a seven out of 10. I wish the blueberries had a more important role to play, but it's really, I feel a blueberry here, I feel a blueberry there, it's not really, a really nicely integrated part of the process of eating this entire thing. Um, in terms of taste, I'd give it a probably 8.5 to 9 out of 10. It tastes really good. All right. And that about wraps it up for our review of the new sub blueberry. Overall, I'd only recommend this if you're going out to eat with your friends. Maybe you're packing home, uh, packing lunch from home. You want to flex on them with something that looks a little more, more premium, something that says a little bit more about your your taste or your etiquette in choice of yogurt. Um, but it's really not worth it if you're eating this at home. I'd honestly recommend just a yo play. I'm um, considering the high price um, and the fact that you're not even getting that much actual yogurt. 
But with that said, it tastes pretty good. The texture is solid. And uh, that about wraps it up for today's review. Thanks so much for your time, everyone. Have a great one. Peace out. Make sure to like and subscribe.